it's new knife day and this is the last one of this year more than likely and this is probably the one i've been looking forward to for the longest time uh leong mars just released it and i was just waiting until i had a little bit of money but this is the traveler loving this by the way great trade thank you very much paddy for that one so you get it in leong mars distinctive pouch which um i first saw this or at least like leong mars catalog on uh bird shot iv or bird shot 4's channel and ever since then oh my god look at it so let's just so you get your microfiber does this have a brand on it or anything? Or oh, very faint, but there you go. The Armour Design Microfiber. You get yourself a Leon Armour Design patch. A business card, fair enough. And I don't think there's any warranty information or anything. And there it is. Oh, this is another one of them that's just. That is much nicer in in person. Although I will say straight away, um, the ones I've seen, the. Uh, these. Oh, there you go. That's that's the sort of shot I get from them usually where they all look shiny and polished. And then you look at them flat and they, <laughs> they look really matte. Um, yeah, <laughs> fair enough. Oh, this is meant to be one hand opening. Yep, zero blade play. Oh, that is nice. That's a nice grip. Almost exactly the same size as a mini grip there. By pure happenstance, M390. Get sharpening choil, which is lovely. Finger choil with the little extended guard there. Lovely, lovely pocket clip. I went for the Makata and G10. You can also get um, this in orange, which I'm not a fan of that one. I'm not a fan of the orange one. Uh, and you can also get this. It's still G10 like um, scales, but then you get an inlay like this Makata, but the you get carbon fibre. I like this one the best, to be honest. God, that's such an elegant design that you, you can't really. But this one's, um, this one's subtle jimping. It's, uh, you can certainly easily go crazy like that with it, but. Yeah, you can, you can stop yourself. That's griffy enough, I suppose. Yeah, I'm not going to complain about that. Some beautiful work on the scales there. Oh, that's damn good. I'm pretty sure this is obviously a Leong Ma design, and he has, I think, is it Riet Nose build these for him? Pretty sure it's Riet Nose. But they do a damn good job. Again, it's not a... It's not a nail nick, which wins super big points with me. It does feel like it's on bearings but i could be mistaken we're gonna find out in a minute that action is just look at it wonderful absolutely wonderful that action ha 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 oh That is quite a fierce pocket clip, but look at that deep carry. And that's so... That could be anything, that's so unsuspecting. Oh, that's such a nice... Anything? No, it's just... Yep. 
yeah, that's easily, easily sharp enough for me. Oh, it's a thick old boy though. Next to a grip there. But yeah, this feels really well built, really solid. There's no, no flex in those liners. And you obviously have your stop pin just there. Let's possibly ruin the perfect centering on this. Oh, no T6. It's just two T8s on this. Oh, of course, the uh, pocket clip is flippable. You just turn it over the other side. Don't know if it's captive pivot. I don't think it is because there's a tool on this side. So, no, it's not. I can feel it trying to. Yeah, look, there you go. It's not captive. And I. Oop. <laughs> God damn it, this is the pin side. Okay, let's, let's try that again. And, yeah, another T8 for this one. Try not to lose anything. Okay, so, what's that? Is that glue strand or something? It doesn't really matter, because you can't see it when it's on the outside, but... Yeah, I think that's just a, an old glue strand or something, or some packing material for this G10. Lovely note. And as you can see, this is just a dual detent ball. Um, there's your detent. Just gently work it off there. Don't do anything weird or crazy. Aha, I knew it was bearings. There we go. So that's the back spacer on that. Oh my god, that's the focus on this. So you've got a steel insert for the washers to run on. Back spacer. I assume this is steel, this might well be titanium. Um, I'll find out for the proper review, but, yep, there's your, are they ceramic? Do you know, I think they might be. It doesn't make much of a difference to me, but, um, yeah. There you go, that's the inside, and it's just going to be the same deal on the other side, and the less I can, you know, potentially ruin this, the better. Oh, goodness. There we go, that all feels great. So let's quickly reattach the pivot. I've got to say, I'm, I'm loving the... Uh, really loving the one the one torx bit design more of that makers just do t8 across the board there's no need for t6 and yeah you can see that will easily go either way let's just triple check for people yeah there you go you can have it left-handed if you want which is you know again it's such a it's such an easy design thing to do when you're making a slip joint, just... And look, Leong Ma clearly hasn't... He's not sacrificed any design for that. That looks phenomenal. It's a great deep carry pocket clip. The guy knows how to make a knife look good. Right, we're not centred. Oh, nearly. Yep, 
Yeah, that's spot on. Yes, sir. -y. There's a teeny tiny bit of blade play. Hello, perfect centering. Yep, zero blade play. Ah, oh, very slightly off, but me. Oh well. That's probably me taking that apart, although, yeah, I'm sure that was. I'll have a little fiddle with that, see if I can't. So just a quick note, quick, very, very speedily. Uh, rewind back, have a look at the centering just before I took this apart, and that actually is how it came. Um, it's very close to perfect, but it's very, very slightly to the right there, or to the clip side. I've also put the clip on the right side. I realised I put that on the wrong way, for right-handed anyway. Um, something else I quickly wanted to know is listen to the like the detent noise as this closes. Oh, that's distinctive. Yep, absolutely solid again. And wonderful. Close enough to center. I'm totally happy with that. But yeah, um, it was very, very ever so slightly off anyway. And wonderful noise. Looking forward to carrying this. Cheers for watching.